let's see what happens here. Yeah, LPN, or you're just really showing that aggression with that with Abel. Really good spacing, getting that pocket a little bit. Marcos has had a backdash out of the Able Normals already quite a bit. Yeah, absolutely. And not getting caught right now early with a forward step kick. Never mind, I take that back. Commentator's curse. Damn, it happened right away. Oh happened my right when God, I said it. Just does it. Okay, still trying to play slippery. Not making it easy for LPM, but it doesn't matter. Because LPM finds one hit, and look how much damage he gets. Oh my goodness, that chase oh down! Oh my God! Okay, small punish. It doesn't, oh. but, but. What? <laughs> what? What is this game, guys? Long, please. Is this Ultra Street Fighter 4? Long, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Marcos, please. Marcos, please. And they, see, that's what I talked about earlier in that, in that other set in Winner's Bracket. Neutral jump roundhouse is a fantastic option. He steps it out that time. The, the, okay. I don't know. There was like long. a whiff command grab, and Ugbal was like, He canceled off with a short. He canceled off with a short. What is he doing? Just whipping throw in the. A, a crapping. Uh, what is going on? It's LPM being LPM. You're asking this. You're asking me, the guy who's been trying to solve this mystery for seven years. Why is it working though? Okay, Ultima Loco has a. Oh my god! <laughs> the people's <laughs> elbow <laughs> just hits up out of the air. Holy crap! What the fuck just happened? What the fuck is exactly what you should be saying? Because seriously, what the fuck? Okay, get, get it, charge it, finish it. Oh, that was like... Oh. I, I like Marcus's energy because even he was like, well, shit. He just, he was just launched him like all the way to the top of the fucking map. Gah. Okay, Holy okay, moly. okay. Excuse the French for the both of us. I normally try not to swear. That was just... I do too, but seriously, what the hell? Okay. Back in it, Marcos. Doing a better job of spacing LPN out, it seems. Starting to get a little better read on when Long likes to press those step kicks. But now he's in the corner. Oh, what a jump. Off the wall, too. So that's really tricky to punish. Ooh, it's an overhead. Long just dashed in there. Good block, oh, though. That could have been something big. I don't know if he could have ultra that, though. Oh, gets out of the pressure, has a huge life lead. But, you know, this is able. You get him once, and that could be the round. Doesn't matter, though. Oh, come on, Loco. Finds his throw. So I'm anticipating again for Long to stick with Abel. and anticipating that. But Long is a man of many, well, many surprises. Well, this also is Grand Finals. Oh, come on, Loco, being loser set. After this match, we'll see what happens. He definitely has time, you know, try out some other characters yeah. for the final set if he really wants to. Absolutely. Ooh. Press the short at the wrong time. El Cabana Loco sniffs it out. Okay, gets in there, finds the counter hit. Good damage. Oh, great focus backdash to get out of the pressure. Wow. Really smart stuff from El Cabana Loco to recognize the situation, making the best of it. If you guys want to learn how to play the defensive game in Street Fighter 4, watch how Marcos plays sometimes. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a work of art, really. Incredibly difficult to execute a strategy like this and be successful with that at a high level. LPN though has the meter. Marco's being a little dangerous some of these buttons, but LPN doesn't find his way in. Oh, challenge with the stand tech. And then the finisher, the Okuma Aloko finishing move. Overhead or couch medium kick. <laughs> and it's that shimmy from that exact same angle every single time. That's really hard to deal with. So Okuma Loco, very strong start to this set so far against LPN. And LPN hasn't really had an answer. Yeah. He's been thrown a lot this set as well. Ooh, doesn't chase down the EX roll. But no, it doesn't take damage. Oh my god, max range, barely caught him. Wow. <gasps> the elbow. It's a lot of interesting things going on here between these two players. But I think overall, Okamoto Loco is outplaying and outspacing Abel correctly. Mm. Or at least Long's Abel correctly. Okay, good tech. I feel that LPM should be going for the command grab sometimes because he's been teched every single time so far for the last five or six attempts. Yeah, I guess, you know, play a little more aggressive, just do it. Yeah. Oh my god, speaking of which, get that, get the, no, oh, the execution error hurts so much. Oh, and the gimmick! 
So now this begs for a character change. And if I were LPN, I'd bet for a character change. And I hope it's Cammy. I'd like to see his Cammy or his Relento. Both characters, I think, have some great offensive pressure to, uh, that Long is looking for in this matchup. Mm -hmm. I don't think he'll go to Adon. It's a possibility, but I think I'd, I want to see Cammy. That's why I don't know which character he's going to pick, to be honest with you, but I want to see Cammy. <laughs> I called it. Relento. Relento. You called it. You called it. You called it. <laughs> Kudos okay. to you. You get a pat in the back. Oh, thank you, Crackbean. By the way, guys, he really did pat me on the back, just to let you know. I love you. Oh, okay. I love you too, Crackbean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it'll be the Rolento, the infamous LPN Rolento, with the roundhouse heard around the world just uh, about a month ago. Now, Marcos does have a lot of experience with this matchup, and recently he's been doing a really great job of just controlling the neutral game against Rolentos. Absolutely. But once you, Rolento gets in, it's a world of hurt for Vega. Oh my god, just resets into the throw, doesn't even finish chewing his food. And there's that roundhouse! And he set it up with that whiff. Fierce, that should be stunned, yeah. Oh yeah. That is um, gross. Well, I guess this was a good change. Will? <laughs> it's exactly the right thing to say, Will. Oh, what? Just a sweep, let's just do it, let's go. Great throw right there. LPM was suppressed the button. At least that's what I thought. Oh, and a missed punish! Minus five! Okay. He, he had the crouching medium punch. Couldn't get it. And an LPM with some great spacing. Converts off the knife. Huge Ow. damage! Ow! Oh my Stun? God. <gasps> Stun? Oh, good blocking! Oh! It's minus five? Okay, Thank gets a punish. For a punish! Ooh, good little frame trap. Doesn't get the conversion though. Good tech from LPN. That's plus on block, unlike the EX. <gasps> oh. And El Kuban Loco just cracked a little bit there, just like, I'm just gonna Scarlet Terror! And LPN, yeah, it's just like, what the hell? Bro? I hate it so much when I block the regular uh, raid attack. Oh, because then he's positive. This is like you ate a jump in. But it's so slow. And yep. you're like, why didn't I just do something about it? And then you're just like, God damn it! now he's positive. Oh, great challenge with the Crystal Roll, blowing up the knife and then hitting Relento. And what a great confirm there for that last short into medium pick. Okay. Both oh. players playing very, very active. A great response. Oh my god! The bravery with that focus attack. Oh, this is so intense. Okay, got some good damage. Has the screen's pace back. Oh, and that chases him down. Huge diversion. Ooh, okay. And a great way to deal with that neutral jump. Oh no, what? That cross up? Oh my god. No that's way. That's a block. No, that's just an ultra. That's not a block. That's just an ultra. You know what? I need to shut my mouth because if he blocked that, he was dead anyways. LPN. There's a reason he's in grand finals right now. What a great comeback. What a great offensive string to, to find his way to sustain alive. And he's still looking strong. And you know what? Marcos, he gets flustered sometimes. And he's looking a little flustered against this Relento right now. He went for the oh counter setup. God. Doesn't matter. Get the stun. Let's go. And the oh reset. No. And then a drop combo. And no Doesn't punish. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Marcos, please. He is flustered right now. And no, he, he doesn't look too bad. I don't think he's flustered per se, but he was definitely not prepared. He's on his back leg, I'm going to say. Let's put, let's put it that he way. He is definitely on his back right now. You say on his back? Yeah, <laughs> that's on his back right now. Yeah, I said it. He's a turtle. Ooh, okay, good overhead. An appropriate description of his style. And Long trying to do the roundhouse right around the world again. Dude, Long's winning just by being crazy. He's just jumping, he's pressing buttons. And Marco's just like, ah, stop doing these things. Ah. <laughs> I like if you said that. Ah. Okay, finally making LPN calm down a little bit, but then gets thrown. What can you make happen now? Ooh, that roundhouse, so scary. That is ridiculously scary. That is not gonna hit. Okay. Okay. Just play active, just keep doing things. This is okay. the street fire. this is Marvel. Okay, okay, Long. Please make my life easier by being predictable. 
Right, both players have finally neutralized the speed of the game. Yeah, not playing as crazy anymore. Not as much of a scramble. I don't even know if I should even call that a scramble. Law just did stuff and then they got a level two focus to hit. Ooh, really dangerous there. Great block. Get something as a punish. Ooh. What? Oh. Nice punish. That was the perfect punish in that situation. Great challenge there. Finds the counter hit. Marcos staying alive. And possibly Ooh. able to reset the bracket against LPN. Dangerous, dangerous stuff going on right here. It is very dangerous stuff. And I can't tell if El Cabana Loco is catching on or not, really. But he's doing a pretty good job so far of making an adjustment to LPN's game plan. Okay, see what happens here. A lot of neutral going on, a lot yeah. of baiting on the spacing. LPN is just kind of playing really crazy, but El Cabana Loco is just not biting. Just like, okay, okay, I don't have to commit. But let's see what LPN gets with the knockdown. I like that shimmy to jump. That was amazing. That shimmy to jump was really tricky to look for. Because it looked like he was going to go for the crouchy medium kick. Okay, Marcos finds his damage though. Punish? No! Oh, this damage. That should punish. Oh, such a huge opportunity given to LPN by Marcos there. Oh, what an empty jump throw. Oh, this time does the pogo. The mind games are real. This is the final round of the first set. Either LPN is going to win the, tonight's tournament or Marcus is going to reset right now. And off to go straight up, slide in the beginning of the round. What confidence he has against Marcos. What's going to happen? Both players again baiting on that spacing. Who's going to bite first? It's not even a matter of who's going to bite first. Who's going to make the right decision? Who's going to create that opening? Oh, Marcos, great air to her, and the cross up against that Barcelona. That was nasty. Oh, he has that three bars. I wonder if he's going to do the roll into red focus. Oh, it's something that he's caught many a people with. Many a people with, and that's more than a possibility. It looks like he's setting up a positioning to get that exact option. He might get one more meter and then do it off the EX roll instead. Oh, there it is, but Marcos jumps, so wasted all that meter. But hey, gets the knockdown at least, and that was a dirty cross of Fierce. What's happening? What is happening? The, these two are just going all over the place. I don't know what to say. Oh, okay, chases him down. Good damage. Marcos, duh. Almost found a good hit. <laughs> duh, that's the right sure. way to ah. describe this. Ah. Okay, get some damage. Both players just using their roundhouse. I guess it's the button to use right now. Will Long finish it? What's gonna happen? Okay, both players calm it down a little bit. What's gonna happen? Not committing. Oh my god, no! Ah. 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 What's gonna happen? Oh my god, walking him down, sweeps the feet! What's gonna happen? Oh, does it have the right focus? Wait, dash forward, roundhouse? What's gonna happen? Too much, too much. Oh! 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 That just happened! That he just, just happened. did it! Just decided to go off the wall and take him with a gimmick. What just happened? Oh. Oh. Marcos resets the bracket. We are now into a final three out of five for Turing the Butter, number 56, I believe. Wow. So, um, what the fuck happened? Can, can no, you no, educate I, me? I, I, I can, can, you, can you tell me what happened? Mackie, Spencer, Spencer, please tell us. We I, both need help here, Spencer. I'm usually an analyst. <laughs> I'm usually the analyst that looks at this stuff and can break it down. What the fuck just happened? Both players were sitting there. They felt the crowd behind them. And they were like, ah, Street Fighter. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's, it's like ah, uh, real monsters. It's called mom spaghetti. Mom they both spaghetti. became mom spaghetti. They both became mom spaghetti. Shout out well, to mom spaghetti. One of them might have been Sal Pacino. I'm not sure. It was hard to tell, but they're definitely mom spaghetti in both of them a little bit. I agree. I, I wish you. I could just replay that and have the ah, uh, real monsters <laughs> theme song just happen. We need to just have a soundboard in front of us with this, like ah uh, sounds. We're like ah 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 as a sound bite. That would be sick. I would have liked that for that situation. I didn't know what to say there. Ooh, and he makes a character change to Ken. You know what? It's never a bad pick. His Ken is always a solid, fundamental, crazy uppercut character. Yeah, fundamental, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's the fundamentals of Street Fighter. Uppercut's yeah, fundamental. Yeah, just wake up DP, you know? Yeah. Fundamental. Hey, if you don't get punished. Oh my god, what the fuck? Nice throw. I wouldn't have done that, but nice throw. Good throw, good throw. <laughs> Mm. 
I don't know how he even sniffed that out. I thought I would have blocked that. You know what? Really great job here of Marcos to prevent Long from setting up that zone with Ken Fireball and Step Kicks. To, you know, up until that point in time, he's really staying at a hard range for Ken. Oh, and then he kind of stopped doing it. <laughs> Ooh, good slide. Gets out of the toxic mix up. Wow, slow set from these two players here. Both really trying to gain that momentum. Although Ken loses all that meter, so he's not going to have as much of an opportunity. Dangerous situation. Oh, come on, Loco. Still trying to escape. Oh, nice yeah. uppercut right there. Oh, and finds a nice little throw to finish the round. And he, and he didn't shimmy, but he, he did the little head bob, which was like, oh, shit. What's he going to do? Is he going to counter hit me? Or yeah. throw me? Didn't get the timing, though. Always a really great way to psych your opponent out for the throw with that, uh, the crown. What's oh. really interesting about the dynamic of these two is because they both have the best car grabs in the game. Mm -hmm. Ken with a slightly further car grab than Vega, though. It's still very, very good car grabs. Mm -hmm. All right, Pokemon Loco gets a knockdown. And neither player find too much pressure on any of these knockdowns. Mostly just a hit here and there in the neutral game. Nothing too huge. Until now, okay, what can LPN get? Oh, could have found more. Oh, wow. Great cosmic heal right there. Oh. Not, not sure about enough punish, though. though. I was anticipating that Marcus would look for the charge and try and chip him out. Instead, he ends up playing footsies, capitalizing on that opportunity instead. Very smart choice from the bottom logo, knowing that it is a more superior option. Oh my god, EX Hotsu just works out, has the corner, and doesn't chase down the e Elix Scar, the Terror, sadly. Yeah, fortunately missing another opportunity. Oh my god, EX Hotsu has just been the way LPN is finding damage right now. Oh EX Tatsu. But unfortunately, didn't capitalize on that opportunity there. Could have been like crouching medium kick to something, right? Mm -hmm. Could have been something a little more. Great block. With wow, oh. what a block. What a block. And a great air grab. LPM with a strong challenge though and just keeps it going, finds the finish, gets the first game in his set. Once again guys, this is a new 3 out of 5 set, so LPN still needs to win two more. Yes, El Cubano Loco, if you guys just tuned in, did take that first set, 3 to 2 in a very nail-biting performance. The LPN though, starting... I, I like the way that LPN has been starting matches lately. Oh, oh online tactics with the uppercuts though. I, I do that. <laughs> uh, oh, you could have done it again right there. El Kamal Loco is not punishing these uppercuts. What is this? And oh, little great mix up there. Just checks him low. Again. It's done. Yep. And a jab to build a little bit of extra meter. The Ken is looking extremely strong right now. The pressure isn't complicated. It's just crowd shorts, symbols, couple of tatsus, and it's working out. Yeah, and it's forcing El Cubano's hand because yeah, he has to make the correct decision defensively, but should he not block one, it gives Ilkin so much momentum. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Gets what the toes, fight? barely. But back to the corner instantly. Oh. It is that corner pressure game again. With that car grab, too. It's going to force his hand. Oh, what? This is the raw boss alone to get out. Doesn't matter. Right back in there. LPN has none of it. Positioning is king, and he opts for the positioning instead. There it is, two games to none in, in quick fashion so far. LPN looks like he's in position to take this 3-0, perhaps. Marcos? No. Nope. Looking contemplative, though. Looking at the thought, and right back in there. Seems he knows what adjustment he needs. Either that or he's just giving up. We'll find out soon. Exactly. I, Marcos' face looks like one of determination. Oh. I, don't, I don't anticipate him giving up whatsoever. You know what? I think you're right so far. Some good frame traps. Slight drop there. Luckily, no punish from LPM. I think execution errors are fine as long as you're sticking to a game plan. It looks like Marcos is. Okay. If you have a game plan coming in, that's a better indicator of where your mental state is. I like the game plan of funny, finally punishing uppercuts. That's a good start. That is a good start. Also getting a lot of momentum early in this uh, in this round. Oh, just back dashing. And a nice finish right there from Elkabana Loco to chip him out. Yeah, uh, no. Guessing that LPN wasn't going to commit to an uppercut. 
what what was the read? I don't know if LPN saw it. It, it was from here. Read LPN buffered a fireball to bait and got slid on. Ah. But he didn't block because he stood up. But that could have been a read. Ooh, great little use of the Xtatsu there, and he keeps it going. Oh, Kualako gets out, gets his own pressure. Oh, and playing slippery still. Willing to go back to that neutral game instead of playing close. Wow, that actually hit. Are you serious? Yeah, uh, Xtatsu has been king for LPN so far. The great air grab right there. Oh, what a way to get him into the corner oh. still. But a huge focus crumple there will lead to Ultra. That might be the round here, actually. Yo, a little more. Okay. Just a little more. Oh, that Tatsu was weird. Ooh, sweeps the feet. Oh. Ooh, no oh, punish, though. No punish. What? That worked? Okay. He's in there. Walking out, staying alive. Just be very wary of LPN. Oh, this time he gets it. What? Not an getting uppercut. Thrown. What an uppercut. That's so hard to do, man. It's the uppercut he wanted last time when he sadly got thrown by the last EX Barcelona. This time he does find it. Not letting El Camalico get with his, away with the same tricks twice. Oh, El Camalico tries to get a little bit too aggressive. Gets, gets checked. Fortunately for him, that Oki didn't become a conversion. By the way, guys, we are on tournament point here for LPN. Oh my really? god! Really? Are you for real? Are you Are you for real? Just calls him. You're jumping off the wall. You cannot do that. Okay, gets out though. Oh, but right back in the corner. Oh, and right back in the corner as well. Okay. This is going to happen a lot when you see LPN play. There's and lots of back and forth, and positioning isn't necessarily the key to winning. It's his aggressiveness. All right. LPN, good life lead. Marcos. No, still alive here. Playing patiently. Marcos has given a tail off of that fireball, and I think Long saw that. Oh. I'll t explain that later. So great see, great way to stay alive in that set by Okawana Logo. But, so I was going to say the jab fireball, as soon as Okawana Logo blocks the first one, he's represented a charge, and he's baiting for the ultra. Oh. Interesting. Well, so as long as he we'll doesn't a second fireball. We'll see if that comes into play and if uh, OPN see. falls for that trap. Well, it was a trap play that he was trying to set up. Okay, wow. The challenges. Not even invincible. Yeah, but sometimes you got to go for stuff like that against... If you think he is, he's going to throw or delay a button and not block, it's a fantastic and option. LPN finally protects his toes and is able to punish a slide. And once again, protecting that corner as LP... El Camalogo tries to jump out, I, keeps I, him there, and is now on tournament point once again. I feel as though LPN knows how to push El Camalogo's button so he actually jumps off the wall. He's yeah. in that same position every single time, has punished it every single time, including a raw... It's just, you know, yeah, really forcing that into Marcos. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. no, unfortunate miss right there. Or execution error, maybe, even. It's okay, though, gets the pressure right back. And a little reset here. Now, Marcos, surprisingly, having a hard time in this neutral game. LPN just has been winning. And oh my god, the uppercuts are just going unpunished still. But that was the right read because he did press the medium punch. So it wasn't as if that was um, an ill-advised one. True. Very true. Man, look at that neutral game. Both players really trying to sniff each other out. Yeah. Oh, and the EX Tatsu. Oh my god. He's got that ultra stocked up. Okay, a little bit of damage there for El Capone Loco. Just hit for See hit there, right now. Man. Ooh, Let's go for that down charge. And El Capone Loco was just zipping for that cosmic kill, right trying there. to beat out a fireball. Ooh. Oh that should be my it. That God. should be it. LP had stiffed that walk forward. Great focus. Oh. Now, that was brilliant play. Because I think Marcos attempted twice to bait him to throw that fireball.